When we think of innovations that revolutionized American transportation, we often think of the steam engine, the automobile, or even the airplane. But there's one invention that literally saved thousands of lives and limbs in the railroad industry, created by a man who knew firsthand just how dangerous railroad work could be. That man was Andrew Jackson Beard, and his story is one of triumph over incredible adversity. Chapter 1. Born into Bondage Andrew Jackson Beard's life began in the most challenging circumstances imaginable. Born on March 29, 1849, in East Lake, Alabama, Beard spent the first 15 years of his life enslaved on a small farm. Like millions of other African Americans, his early years were defined by the brutal realities of slavery in the antebellum South. The Alabama where Beard was born was deeply entrenched in the plantation economy. Cotton was king and the entire social and economic structure depended on enslaved labor. For young Andrew, this meant a childhood without formal education, legal rights, or freedom of movement. Yet even in these harsh conditions, the mind that would later create life-saving innovations was already taking shape. Growing up on a small farm meant that Beard was exposed to various types of manual labor and mechanical processes from an early age. He would have witnessed the daily challenges of agricultural work, the constant need for repairs to tools and equipment, and the ingenuity required to solve practical problems with limited resources. These experiences, though born from oppression, would later prove invaluable in shaping his inventor's mindset. Into this tumultuous world of 1849, came a child who would grow up to embody the very ideals of innovation and progress that America claimed to represent, despite being denied those opportunities for the first decade and a half of his life. Chapter 2. Freedom and New Beginnings When the Civil War ended in 1865 and slavery was abolished, 16-year-old Andrew Beard found himself free, but facing an uncertain future. Like many newly emancipated people, he had to build a life from nothing. Just one year after gaining his freedom, Beard married and settled in Pinson, a small city just outside Birmingham, Alabama, where he began working as a farmer. But Beard was far more than just a farmer. He was a man of many talents who worked as a carpenter, blacksmith, railroad worker, and shopkeeper. Each job taught him different skills and exposed him to various mechanical workflows and challenges. Despite having no formal education or technical training, Beard possessed a natural mechanical aptitude and an inventor's mindset. He could see problems that others accepted as unavoidable and imagine solutions that others couldn't envision. This experience, combined with his intuition for problem solving, would pay off later during his journey into inventing. Chapter 3, Patents for Sale Beard's first breakthrough came in agriculture, the field he knew best. Working the land day after day, he understood the physical demands of farming and saw opportunities to make the work more efficient. In 1881, he received his first patent for an improved plow design that allowed farmers to adjust the distance between the plow plates. This was a significant innovation that could save farmers time and effort in the field. The success of his first invention proved that Beard had real commercial instincts as well as inventive talent. In 1884, he sold the patent rights for $4,000, which was a substantial sum at the time. But rather than rest on his success, Beard continued to innovate. In 1887, he patented a second plow design that allowed for pitch adjustment, making the two even more versatile. This second patent sold for $5,200, 
bringing his total earnings from plow inventions to over $9,000. With nearly $10,000 in his pocket, equivalent to roughly $320,000 today, Beard made a smart business decision. He invested his earnings in real estate, building a profitable business that provided him with financial security and the freedom to pursue his true passion, invention. Chapter 4. The Dangerous World of Railroads After establishing himself in real estate, Beard turned his attention to engines and mechanical systems. In 1892, he filed a patent for improvements to the rotary steam engine, demonstrating his growing expertise in complex machinery. But it was his next invention that would secure his place in history and save countless lives. Beard's experience as a railroad worker had taught him firsthand about one of the most dangerous jobs in America, coupling railroad cars. In the late 1800s, Connecting train cars required a worker to stand between moving railroad cars and manually drop a heavy iron pin into place at exactly the right moment. The timing had to be perfect. One false move and the worker could be crushed between the cars or lose limbs to the coupling mechanism. Beard knew this danger intimately because he had lived it. During his time working on the railroads, he lost his leg in a coupling accident. This personal tragedy became the driving force behind what would become his most important invention. He was determined to create a system that would eliminate the need for workers to risk their lives and limbs every time train cars needed to be connected. Chapter 5. Perfecting the Jenny Coupler the existing automatic coupler invented by Eli H. Janney in 1873 was a significant improvement over earlier methods, but it still had limitations. Beard set out to improve upon Janney's design, using his practical railroad experience to identify specific problems that needed solving. After years of work and experimentation, Beard achieved his breakthrough. On November 23, 1897, he received U.S. Patent Number 594,059 for his improvement to the automatic railroad car coupler. His design featured two horizontal jaws that would automatically lock together when railroad cars came into contact, eliminating the need for workers to manually couple the cars. Beard's improvement to what became known as the Jenny Coupler represented a major advance in railroad safety. The automatic locking mechanism was more reliable and safer than previous designs, significantly reducing the risk of accidents during coupling operation. Chapter 6. A Life-Saving Change The significance of Beer's invention cannot be overstated. Railroad work was one of the most dangerous occupations in America during the late 1800s. Coupling accidents were responsible for thousands of injuries and deaths among railroad workers. By creating a more reliable automatic coupling system, Beer's invention had the potential to save countless lives and prevent devastating injuries. The commercial value of his invention was immediately recognized. In 1897, the same year he received his patent, Beard sold the rights to his coupler improvement for $50,000, equivalent to nearly $2 million today. This was an enormous sum, especially for an African-American inventor in the post-Reconstruction South. The timing of Beard's invention was particularly significant. In 1897, the same year he patented his coupler improvement, Congress enacted the Federal Safety Appliance Act. This landmark legislation made it illegal to operate railroad cars that weren't equipped with automatic couplers, creating a massive market demand for exactly the type of technology Beard had developed. Chapter 7, Building on Innovation. Beard didn't stop with his coupler innovation. In 1899, 
he received another patent number 624901 for additional improvements to railroad car couplers, showing his continued commitment to enhancing railroad safety technology. While Beard's improvements were significant, it's important to note that he was building upon earlier work. The basic automatic coupler had been invented by Eli H. Janney in 1873, and Beard's patents were among approximately 8,000 variant patents awarded between Janney's original invention and the turn of the 20th century. However, this doesn't diminish the importance of Beard's contributions. His improvements represented real advances in safety and functionality. Chapter 8. Lasting Legacy The period following Beard's last patent in 1899 remains largely undocumented, but what we do know paints a tragic picture. Despite his earlier success and substantial earnings from his inventions, Beard reportedly became paralyzed and impoverished in his later years. This decline illustrates the ongoing challenges faced by African-American inventors and entrepreneurs, even those who had achieved significant success. Andrew Jackson Beard died on May 10, 1921 in Birmingham, Alabama at the age of 72. While his later years may have been difficult, his contributions to American innovation and railroad safety were undeniable. In 2006, nearly a century after his death, Andrew Jackson Beard finally received the recognition he deserved. He was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in Akron, Ohio, an honor that celebrates the women and men responsible for great technological advances that make human social, and economic progress possible. Beard's legacy reminds us that innovation comes from unexpected places and that some of the most important inventions arise from people who understand problems firsthand. His coupler improvements may not have achieved widespread adoption, but they represented genuine advances in railroad safety technology during a crucial period in American transportation history. If you want to see more stories of historic black inventors who overcame incredible challenges to change the world, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification button for updates on new video releases. This is Innovator's Journal. Thanks for watching.